Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for November 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm going to take just a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading and it is not going to resonate with everyone. If you do find it's not resonating with you, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate with you just a little better. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, Virgo. Spirit, can you show me what is the key issue you would like for Virgo to be aware of for the month of November? Okay, so we have judgment in reverse starting out. It looks like you may be calling judgment on a situation. Let's see, um, what is crossing that? It's kind of a, a strong energy to be starting out with Virgo. Let's see what's crossing it. Looks like you, um, there's a situation that you might have decided that uh, you had enough. All right, we have seven of swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's because there has been some kind of an issue here that um, there's been sleight of hand, there's been some kind of deception, and you've discovered it. It's been, um, it's been discovered, it's been called out into the light, and you've called judgment on the situation. It's like I said, enough is enough. Let's see what's uh, happened in the past. Okay, so in the past, this was a connection where you were very happy. Ten of Cups. At one time, you felt pretty fulfilled in this connection. So something happened here where there was deception, some lying, cheating, stealing. Um, let's see why is all this happening. Why is all this happening? Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so you're feeling a lack of success in the situation. Um, it's as if the it's as if everything just kind of because of this deception and the discovery of it, it's as if the situation just failed. Let's see what's on your mind. What's on the mind of Virgo. What's on the mind of Virgo? The magician. Okay, well, that's good energy. That uh, indicates that you are manifesting. So that's good. You're, you're manifesting what it is that you do want here. Um, let's see what's coming up for you in the month of November. The High Priestess in reverse. So there are going to be some things here, that more things revealed to you. Um, in this particular card, we see the High Priestess is behind this red curtain. And so I feel like there's going to be revelations, things that are going to be brought out into the light, things revealed, things that were hidden or in the dark are going to be revealed in the month of November. Um, let's see how you're showing up, Virgo. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a month of revelations for you. Um, you're showing up as a Queen of Swords in the reverse. Now, that is a card of um, being angry, actually. It's air sign energy, so it's pretty intellectual. In this particular deck, the Queen of Swords has a spyglass. And so, um, and it's different from any other deck that I've ever seen. Um, but it's as if whatever you are finding out, you've gone searching for Virgo. You've gone looking for it, and you've discovered it, or you will discover it in the month of November, I feel like something has already come out. There's been some deception, or at least you suspect it. There will be revelations coming out in the month of November, and I feel like it's going to make you angry. I feel like it's going to piss you off a little bit. Um, let's see the energy coming towards you. Show me the energy coming towards Virgo, please. And that may be what you're manifesting. You may be manifesting the truth in this situation. Okay, so the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So the energy coming towards you is that of, you know, somebody who is kind of coming out of this period of anxiety, period of, um, you know, somebody here, I think, is feeling exposed as if all eyes have been on them. And they're coming out of that energy. So that's what's coming towards you. Let's see what Spirit's advice is. 
Holy Spirit's advice in this situation. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be in love. Um, this is a monthly reading, and we are open to whatever. This could be a work situation even. So, Spirit's advice here is the Ten of Swords. So, there is betrayal at hand here. There is betrayal. And let's see the outcome. So, it's to be aware that there is betrayal. And the outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So there may be a loss. It could be a financial loss. Um, it could be a loss of stability. could be an ending. But whatever this is, Virgo, I feel like you're not giving this a second chance anyway. Um, I feel like you're angry about something here that is discovered. Now, take it as it applies. It could apply in work. It could apply with a friend. It could apply in a love relationship. But... Whoever this is, they have felt exposed, and there is some energy that they are kind of coming out from that energy, though. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups in reverse, so somebody's unhappy about the situation. I know you are. Um, I feel like it's not just you that's unhappy about this situation, and, you know, Three of Cups also indicates um, in the reverse that there is somebody here that may want to come back together or to bring you back into connection, and you're not having it, um, which would, you know, be this judgment in reverse. It's a reconciliation, whether that be with a, um, a partner, a friend, or even in another situation, such as a work situation. You're not having it. You're not reconciling with this person. You've called judgment on it because there's been deception. So let's clarify and see what this is about. Now, take it, like I said, as it resonates. For each um, Virgo out there, it could be different situations. So let's see what we have. Um, why is the judgment card here in reverse for Virgo? Yeah, somebody's trying to reconcile. Somebody's trying to bring this back together. Because we just had the five of coins pop out. And it is in reverse. All right, so we have the three of coins. We have the eight of coins. And we have the five of coins in reverse. So for somebody, this definitely is a work situation. Um, somebody here is trying to lay a foundation to bring this, this back together. And it is within a work situation. Um, for others, th somebody is working towards a reconciliation, trying to bring, you know, a cooperative spirit back into this. But either way, Virgo, you're not having it. You have judgment in reverse. And I feel like you basically have said, look, you know, there's been deception here and I, I'm not doing this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to bring this back together. Thank you, but no, thank you. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Yeah, somebody was a snake in the grass is what I just heard. A snake in the grass. All right, um, we have Temperance and we have the Two of Swords. So there may be a decision that you have to make regarding this person. And you're aware of what they've done. Like I said, this person is a snake in the grass. You're aware. And you're being very patient about making this decision. You're trying to balance out your emotions so that the decision that you make is balanced. Um, and you're taking your time. This person that um, is trying to come back in, there's deception here. They may not be aware that you know. But you do. All right, so Queen of Cups and the Chariot. So in the past, I feel like you were very content in this situation. Um, and I feel like you were, you know, you were open. You were very, um, you were very giving in this situation. Queen of Cups is a very giving energy. It's very loving. It's very giving and I feel like things were moving forward very successfully. 
whether this was love, whether this was work, friendship, whatever it was, it was moving forward very successfully. You felt very contented in the past. And I feel like you were showing up, um, you know, in a very loving and kind manner, very discerning as well. Um, I can't, I can't fault you in how you were showing up here, Virgo. Um, it was very loving energy. Now, you could be dealing with a, um, a um, water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. We also have Sagittarius out on the board. Um, yeah, I, I just, I think you had a very, Gemini's out. Um, we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel though that you, your energy here in the past was one of feeling like things were going really well and your energy was very loving. So why is the six of wands here in reverse? Because there's, the reason all of this is happening Virgo is because there was a sense of things, you know, not going well. Things all of a sudden kind of being unsuccessful. All right, we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Judgment in Reverse. So, going back to this Judgment in Reverse. So, something happened that caused this to, to fail miserably. It had to do with this deceptive energy. And I feel like you heard this person out. You listened to what they have this, had to say. But at the end of the day, you had to cut this person out. It was a judgment call, and you had to cut this person out. I think you were fair. Your energy here was fair. It was, it was, you know, I, I'm going to listen to what you have to say, but they were a snake in the grass. You were very patient, but at the end of the day, you had to cut them out. Um, let's look at what's on your mind. You have the magician. Why is the magician here? Cards flying in the floor. All right, so Virgo, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the High Priestess. Interesting, because coming up, you have the High Priestess in the reverse. So you, you're you aware here that there's... Oh, okay. So you know you this person is manipulating they have secrets and lies and manipulation. So you're on to somebody, Virgo. Your little spidey sense is just all, all tingly. So you're aware and that's you're thinking on this. Your your mind is on this. You're you're aware that somebody here has some secrets. Those secrets are going to be coming out. Whatever that it is that they're hiding, because it the high priestess is the keeper of secrets, but you are be you're very intuitive here, and I think that you know that you're not being dealt with honestly, and I think that you are manifesting the truth. You're manifesting the you're manifesting these secrets to come to the light of day, and and you're going to get what you're manifesting because they are. Wow, yeah, you're um. You're powerfully manifesting right now, Virgo. And I think you're you're very intuitive, but you're aware that there's lies and manipulation and secrets. So let's see um, what's coming out. We have the High Priestess in reverse. Now this will happen during the month of November. So let's see what's happening in the month of November. Show me what's happening for Virgo in the month of November. happening for Virgo in the month of November. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, the Lovers, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Star card. And we have the Five of Cups. All right. So, 
this feeling of things being unsuccessful here, that's going to turn around, okay? Because you have the six, uh, six of rods in the upright. So there's going to be a truth that comes out. There's Whatever is being hidden is going to come out. There's going to be some secrets that are coming out. And I feel like it's the same person that you're dealing with. This person wants a reconciliation with you. You know they're being kind of a snake. They're not being very upfront and honest. And you're aware of it. It's going to create a success, though, when this comes out. Whatever was unsuccessful now becomes successful. I think that you've made a judgment call. You had to cut someone out. Um, but you're successfully overcoming something here. And I also feel like in some way, Virgo, this is going to elevate you. I feel like... If, especially if this is a work situation, people are going to notice that you are, they're going to applaud you. They're going to, there's going to be a sense of you being um, some kind of promotion or some kind of um, recognition, okay? But when these secrets come out, it's going to create a successful situation. Now, where there was confusion, that confusion is now going to be cleared up and there will be a sense of clarity. There is a decision. You may have a decision between two people or it may be just a big decision in love. Um, there may be a soulmate involved with the lovers here, but there is going to be a big decision. I feel like you will be very clear in what decision to make. And I also feel like that decision, the decision that um, you will have, you will be able to successfully make this decision. It's going to be your heart's desire. I, I feel like it's going to bring healing to a situation that you have been very sad about. There's healing that's coming. So, I, in November, I, I really th see a big turnaround for you. I'm surprised I didn't see the Wheel of Fortune here because in the upright because I see things becoming much more successful. It's because you've called judgment on this. If you have a choice between two people, um, I, I feel like um, you'll be clear in what, what decision to make. If you are just making a really big decision, it's going to be very clear to you. It's going to be a, a success regardless, and you are going to get your heart's desire, and it's going to bring healing to a situation that was very sad for you in the past. So November is going to be a month of revelations and healing. So let's see how you're showing up, because you're showing up here... Um, at least as the month begins, it's being rather angry. So let's see. Um, clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse, please. Okay. All right. So we have the Seven of Rods reversed. We have the Death card in reverse. And we have the Four of cups reversed. Yeah, so you're showing up here kind of pissed off about this situation, um, but I see you overcoming the problems, which is what we see here as well. Um, you will overcome the problems, and whatever this is with the death card, I feel like there's a, a some kind of a cycle or a situation that you're still holding on to. It may have been a situation where in the past you were not appreciated. That's going to turn around. So instead of it just ending abruptly, there's, the situation isn't going to just end abruptly. It's going to be a reversal where the there's going to be a sense of feeling appreciated. In a situation where you were not appreciated, you'll now feel appreciated. Um, I feel like uh, 
your anger here, Virgo, comes from feeling unappreciated, feeling, you know, as if you were not dealt with fairly, having all the, to deal with all these secrets. There's some form of betrayal here. But I feel like you're not done with the situation because you're still scoping something out. You're still looking at something. You're not done with it, per se. But I think there's going to be a reversal of the situation for you. Let's see the energy coming towards you. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. All right. We have the King of Wands. Now, that is fire energy, so Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, um, but it doesn't have to be. They could just have fire in their chart, or they could just be exhibiting the signs of a, um, of a fire sign. But we also have the three of rods and the devil, Capricorn. So you may be dealing with Capricorn. Um, but I feel like this person has felt as if they were exposed in the past. And I feel like they're kind of stepping out from that energy. They're, they're, this may be a boss because with the King of Wands, that is somebody who is in charge. Um, that's somebody that generally people follow. So you may have a boss that has felt exposed. And if that's the case, be careful here because they may be taking steps to kind of cover their tracks here. Um, and they could be just waiting to bring back some of this toxic behavior. So be careful if that's the case, if you're dealing with a boss, um, because it's not over. Yeah, if this is a work situation, be very careful because the toxicity is not completely over. They're waiting. They're waiting. But they're, in the meantime, they're taking steps to kind of, you know, cover over whatever's happened because they feel exposed. And they're trying to, they're trying to remedy that. Um, and if this is not a boss, this could be somebody that... Um, you know, people are very attracted to. This person could be very flirtatious. Um, sometimes the King of Wands energy is a little bit of a player. Um, and again, this person may feel exposed. They may feel like you've kind of found them out, like they've been, um, they've been discovered, they've been exposed here. And if that's the case, they're, they're going to take steps to remedy that because they don't like the feeling of it, but unfortunately, they're waiting, and the toxicity is still there. So be careful about this person that you're dealing with, and be aware that the cycle is not completely over. Let's see why is the Ten of Swords here, because this is Spirit's advice, and this is indicating that there is some form of betrayal. And that um, it may be coming from several different places as well. Cards falling in the floor again. All right, so we have the Page of Swords, we have the Magician, and we have the Ace of Wands. All right, so... So with the um, Page of Swords, this could be this could be um, communication. So somebody is manifesting either communication, or they might be looking. Um, this could also be manipulation. So somebody might be a smooth talker, and they're manipulating in order to, you know, basically have a sexual connection with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a very phallic, um, very phallic um, card. And so this person could be coming out with the Ten of Swords here. They could be a, a bit of a smooth talker. This would be an immature person. And, you know, they could be manipulating in order to have a, a sexual connection. So if that's the case, be aware of that. Um, be on your guard for that. And, you know, if this is, 
I certainly hope this is not a employer who's doing that. It's highly illegal. Um, and if that's the case, I would address that. Um, if this is, you know, if this is not any of that situation, there is a, still some form of betrayal here and you're being guided to look into that, to, to, you know, look for that. If you want to have a new beginning, if you want to have a new beginning, if you want to have this success towards something that you're passionate about, whether it be, you know, work related or whether it be, you know, just a connection here. Um, if you're manifesting that, you need to take stock. You need to look because this is many hands. Let me show you the card. This is many hands that has those little needles poking at this individual. So be careful and, you know, look and make sure that the people you're dealing with in, in this new beginning, that they're not toxic energy. Okay? All right. Let's see, you have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse as an outcome. Let's clarify that. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so in the outcome by the end of the month, I do feel like you may, um, this could be a loss. It could be a financial loss. It could be a loss of stability. Um, it's going to come about because either you are not speaking your truth or someone else is not speaking truth. Um, I feel like it will also be, there's a lack of truth, there's a lack of true emotion. So somebody here is not truthful, somebody is not truthful regarding their emotions. They're withholding their emotions. They're withholding love. And I think that you're gonna decide to go in another direction. And that's where the success is gonna come in. So, this makes a lot of sense. It, it kind of took the long way around, but I feel like you're dealing with a situation here that you have already said, I'm not giving this another, another chance. It was a good situation in the past. It was moving along fine until you found out that this person was kind of a snake. You, you kind of know you're dealing with some, you know, lies, betrayal, some some manipulation here and and as a result i think you've cut this person out they're coming back either that or somebody that is similar to them and now you have the experience to kind of suss that out and spirit is telling you to do that spirit is saying rely upon the experience you have from the past because you either have that same person who is kind of lying in wait, they are appearing different, but they still have that toxicity there, or it's someone who is similar. It's, it's the same situation in a different body. And so you've overcome these problems in the past, but the lesson is still here. There's still something about this that is yet to be learned. And I think that you will successfully overcome this. You're definitely going to successfully overcome this, but it, it's going to cause a little bit of sadness in the process and some loss. There's going to be some loss here. But when you realize that you're dealing with somebody who is not truthful, not kind and loving, you're going to choose to go in another direction. So, and look at that. Bottom of the deck, we now have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So, once you choose to go in another direction, what's going to happen is whatever you have lost, you will regain. 
because the lesson will be learned and you will be moving forward. So you will regain what you've lost and then some. So just uh, just be careful. You're you're getting you're getting either the same person back or you're getting the same lesson in a new person. So be careful here, Virgo. All right, I'm going to pull from the Oracle of Mystical Moments and see if there's any more that Spirit would like for you to know about. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay, so we have Day and Night. It is actually the very first card in this um, Oracle deck. So the number one card. And it really speaks to fears, worries, um, and decisions that you have to make, all right? And there's an indication here for you to follow your instincts, which, you know, I think that you're very good with. Um, I'm going to read this directly from the book. It says, the girl we see on this card is holding the sun in her hands while the moon is at her back. She looks uncertain, as if she has a question in mind, but does not know the answer. What is she thinking about? Is she afraid of the answer or, or the inward process to find it? Many of us struggle with making decisions, but where there is a shadow, there is also light. After a dark night, there is always the light of the morning sun, warming the path we have chosen. This card reminds us that we already hold all the answers in our hands. We should trust our inner judgment and know we will be able to handle any situation. And, you know, this could not be a more perfect card for you, Virgo, at this particular junction, because that's exactly what you're doing here. You're being faced with this again at a, a higher level, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're choosing a new path. By the end of the month, I see this happening. So trust your intuition here and go with that. All right? All right, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you would like and share the video, be sure to, um, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop me a comment. I do read them all until I see you in your weeklies. Namaste.